So here's the question for you. How curious are you to experience a breakthrough? How, how bad do you want it? You know what's so interesting? 15 years ago, my neighbor, Joe Adio, he and his wife, Deb, who are here today, they are Chick-fil-A operators. Hi, Joe. Hi, Debbie. Joe came over my house and he said, I got this 300-page application from Chick-fil-A. What do you think? And I had just left Disney and I was like, dude, you got to do it. I mean, this is Chick-fil-A. He says, I know. And so we just kind of sat there in my home office. We're going back and forth. So I went to see Joe a few days ago because I wanted to understand a little bit more about what's happened in 15 years. And what was so amazing in the two hours that I was there, he said, Simon, I had to remove the constraints because his restaurant only seats 96 people. His parking space maybe has maybe 50 parking spaces and half of those were taken up by team members. But he said, you know what? Here's what's happening. He says, when I begin to look at what I personally could do, I recognize that now today we serve 2,200 meals a day. You do 3.8 million daily, he's 2,200 of that. I said, what else did you do? He said, I recognize if I invested $5,000 in the back kitchen area that maybe I can get into the catering business. And sure enough, he has a person out on the street and SeaWorld called and SeaWorld said, hey, you know, one of our kitchens is down for our employees. Can you come and, and, and serve them? So sure enough, they did that. Well, word spread throughout SeaWorld that they, all the other employees want Chick-fil-A and this is the culinary director that's calling them. Because he removed that constraint, he began to say, where have I been and what am I going to do about where I am? When I work in an environment that celebrates me rather than tolerates me, mental post-it note number two, that environment invites me to be a vitamin, not just an aspirin. Mental post-it note number three, when I understand how to be a vitamin, not just an aspirin, then ultimately the work that I do as a leader in Hilton is not about making an impression, but it is about leaving an imprint. I am here today because 30 years ago, Greg Wright, who was my GM at the time, saw me 19 years of age, lost as a goose in a blizzard. He saw something in me and he put me on the front desk and he made me believe that I had value. And his belief in me enabled me to believe that I had something to bring to that place of business every single day. Homework assignment number one, if you're taking notes on your smartphone, please, ma'am, please, sir, please capture this. I'd like for you to think of everyone that you work with right now. And I want you to think about what's right about them. And the second thing I want you to think about, by the time you leave San Francisco and you return home, I want you to think about what's that one thing that you can identify and celebrate and begin to leverage every single day, not because you have to, but because you want to. But most importantly, the service was profound. And here's what I discovered. Culver's is into cultivating love because what I felt was the Culver's love, all right? So everybody get your hands like this, hands like this, all right? Watch me on three, I want you to say Culver's love, all right? On three, one, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I felt. It was so awesome because people were happy. Um, the young lady at the, at the rest, she took my order. Her name was Susie, and she was just smiling because I go to some places, and there are some people who stand behind the counter at other restaurants, and they are more negative than an undeveloped piece of film. <laughs> and some of y'all will get that later, you know. And, uh, <laughs> And she smiled, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. But then my food came to the table. I'm like, seriously, really? It was really amazing. And let me tell you why what you do is so important. Because you say that you're in the people business, but after my Culver's experience, I believe you're in the seed planning business. 
because a seed of wow and awesomeness is planted in you and you're like, I can't wait to come back. And you come back again because I believe what you do every single day, all of you in 600 plus locations, you don't just serve food, but when you say it's my pleasure, when you say how's your meal, what you're simply doing is you are hugging people with your words.